never mind. Oh, I... Hi, I'm Luke. Welcome to another video. Thanks for watching. In today's video, I'm going to be upgrading the projector screen in the van. On them. So this is normal and this is a special. This one I'm gonna put. Mm, I want the special. I'm gonna put mustard and ketchup on that one. And this one. <laughs> is it nice? So we went to IKEA and we got a Tupla blind, just a plain white roller blind. And it's like a, an old manual projector screen, so you just pull it from the bottom and it'll pull down. And then you pull it down once again and it'll pull all the way back up. So to fit the screen, the original brackets was this bit of wood here. And this screen, we want to make it a little bit bigger because one of the issues and the main reason for replacing it is since doing all of the wood in the van, the projector now sits in this little hatch here which is ever so slightly further back than it was before so it made the screen a couple of inches wider each side so firstly we're dropping the the screen down just by a centimeter or so just because it gives us a little bit of extra room you can see this this line here is where the old old screen hinge sat uh, and now we're, we're back about maybe two centimeters so we're gaining a little bit of extra width by dropping the hinge down. Um, another thing that we had on the old screen which is still here is I had quite a lot of uh, wood on either end so that's one end and this is the other end. Um, so this time we're going to get rid of that gap so hopefully between dropping the hinges down so that's one on this side and one on this side um, hopefully by dropping these down just a tiny bit and bringing it back by it's probably about an inch an inch in total um, we should be able to gain the couple of inches extra each side to fill the fill the screen and not lose a little bit on each side but we can once we get the blind in then what I'm going to be able to do if I zoom out is get the rest of this this panel of wood in here and then the other panel of wood that will go this way to fill this gap and then we can finally get the final bit of insulation in here and box everything in so that all we've got at the top is in the projector screen. This is the new projector screen here and all we need to do is now cut it down so it's 140 centimeters wide and we need to cut it to 136 and a half so that's where that first pencil line here is going to be where we need the metal to be cut to and the second line it needs half a half a centimeter of the sort of a lip I guess so that as the screen folds up it doesn't it doesn't touch with the end of the bracket maybe if it's going up at an angle or something like that. So we're gonna get that cut and then hopefully get it fitted. Okay, so we've now got the projector screen cut to size to fit in the gap. I just need to cut this bit of wood here now that's, that acts as the weight to straighten the screen out at the bottom. Okay, so very simply, I'm just using some black gaffer tape. It's not the best, as you can see the reflection in the window. There's a bit of shine to it. Um, but as I say, it's more just to make it look good. This is a projector screen on a budget. Um, but I'm just simply taping this I went with the wood in the end I'm taping the wood onto the back here so that it's level I'm now going to turn the screen around and on the front of the screen 
I'm now going to attach one nice level black bit of tape and as you can see my cut wasn't actually perfectly straight I've got a lot more wood showing here so for this section in the middle I'm only going to have the black overlapping just just by a millimeter or so whereas down the end here I'll have it a little bit more and that'll balance balance it out and make it a nice rectangular screen okay sorry for all the different lighting it's running out of time I'm running out of late uh, light today but the first look at the black border at the bottom of the screen is in and looking good I'm gonna put it up check that it all fits okay so the new screen is in fits nicely drops right down to the countertop and stops I've actually used the back of the projection screen this time so so a couple of reasons one the back of the, the back of the screen is actually a smoother finish to the front of the screen the front of the screen is a little bit more textured and I guess more sort of supposed to look like wool or fabric or something whereas the back of the screen I don't know if you can see it on the camera is a really smooth and a nice white finish um, one other slight positive for me is it means that the screen sits about an inch or so further forward because it rolls around the top and then drops down which for me is perfect because it brings it closer to the closer to the edge of the, the wall as you can see on each side um, these are the bits that I need to fill, fill in with the wood now that the screen is in um, but it brings it closer to this wood so closer to the projector so hopefully my image is going to fill, fill the screen better but let's turn it on for the first time and see how it looks so in the ceiling here we've got a little like loft latch the system it just clicks down and the projector is hidden in the ceiling here and turn the main light off so that we've got a little bit more more light and let's turn the projector on and see what we get so we've got a picture all we need to do now is try and line line that picture up and also to do that I'm going to turn the light completely off so that we get a better better image I'm actually really really pleased with this if you can see here this part where my finger is is still the screen and this is the projected image so I've actually got for the first time in the van a little bit of extra room and the good thing is if you can see from from the projector up here there's loads of room at the back for me to move the projector backwards which means I can now fill fill that image completely um, but I'm really pleased pleased with that I can now connect back up to the laptop give us full full power from the projector and that looks good we got a nice full full image full width of the van everything connected up perfectly for the new moment of truth we're going to measure how big our new screen is so we're at pretty much 150 centimeters now which is about 60 inches I think 59 and a bit inches um, so in terms of your TV for your living room it doesn't feel that big but trying to store a 60 inch TV in a van is is not not practical whereas with the screen here it's perfect we get 60 inches and when we don't want to use it we just pull it down like that and the whole thing folds away and then again when we do want to use it We can just flip it down like that if you're not seeing how, how it looks in motion I'll give you a quick demo now um, if you want to see more please check out my other video where I give a full in-depth tour of the cinema in the van
thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.